Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, we are going to see how can we install Ubuntu in our virtual box. So first you have to download Ubuntu. So you can search Ubuntu download desktop in your Google and then directly go to Ubuntu site. Then you can just press on this download and it will start downloading. I have already downloaded Ubuntu so I won't download anymore. Now open your virtual box. Select new and give name Ubuntu. Press next. Now set the memory size to around 2 GB, which is 2048 MB. Then next, select create a virtual hard disk now. Create. Select VDI virtual box disk image. Next, select dynamically allocated. Next, now give the size to 20 GB or approximately 20 GB. Create. Now go to settings. In the general, go to advance and Select bidirectional here. Now go to system and then go to processor and give CPU to 3 and then go to storage and select on this disk icon empty file. Now select here and select choose a disk file. Now you have to choose the ISO file you have downloaded. This is my Ubuntu ISO file. So open. Now just give OK. Now start your Ubuntu. Select your Ubuntu file here. Now start. Now here you can choose your language, I'll just keep it English and then press install Ubuntu. Now here it is asking for your keyboard layout, you can change it according to your keyboard layout. I'll keep it as default English US. Now continue. Here keep this as it is and select this install third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware and additional media formats now continue now keep this selected erase disk and install ubuntu as it is installing in your virtual box, so nothing will be erased from your windows. So don't worry, just keep this selected and press install now. 
in this window just select continue now it is showing the location then continue now give your name I'll give here my name and I'll just cut this and then uh, set a password here you can set a password as you like I'm just giving a very short password now continue now it has started installing wait until it's done installing this Keep waiting until it's done installing. Press restart now. Now it is installing. Now Ubuntu is going to restart. Now select on this folder icon and give your password. skip this next next and then done now your ubuntu installation is done so now let's full screen this as you can see it is not full screened so to full screen this uh, there is a little process first open your applications 
and search for terminal now this is your terminal looks like now here you have to write down a command and the command is this you have to copy this command here after giving the command press enter now it is asking for your password give the password now it is installing all the essential packages yes you want to continue give y and then enter now it has started installing It will take a few minutes to complete installing all the packages. As you can see, it's almost done. Now it's complete press enter and cut your terminal uh, we will update later now what we are going to do is now we are going to shut down our ubuntu so go to power off and then just give power off and it will shut down your ubuntu now select your ubuntu and go to settings and then go to advanced and check if this is bidirectional then ok now we are going to start our ubuntu again the password now as your ubuntu has opened now go to devices and select this insert guest editions cd image now in this window press run give your password and enter now wait until it's done installing It will take a few minutes as usual. Now it's done as you can see. It has written that press return to close this window. Now we are just going to simply press enter. Okay. Now again we are going to shut down our Ubuntu just to make sure that it is done. So now again shut down, go to power and now power off, then power off your Ubuntu, yes Ubuntu has powered off, now we are going to again start our Ubuntu, ok 
take the best one. The one two has opened now. Give full screen, and now as you can see, it has a uh, full screen your Ubuntu. So, this is how you can install your Ubuntu and fix your screening problem. And this is it. I'll provide the uh, terminal command in the comment box, and I will also provide the link where you can download Ubuntu.